I'm an Indian educator of 45 years. And the one thing I'd like to mention um, to Carla is that one thing she's dealing with is you're dealing with the people with a different worldview. And we have to remember yeah. that. And all of us, when we're dealing with all this bureaucracy, we, we shouldn't go into it as, as a, like a battle. We should go into it as we're teaching. So if, we, if we're teaching our ways to these people that don't comprehend the environmental knowledge that we have, that our ancestors have, if they don't comprehend you know, how we view relationships with the earth and all this, the balance you know, that is so necessary, um, if we have to go in and look at it as we're teachers, we're warriors of truth is what I say, so that we, we are here to teach them what they don't know. And if you actually look at the time that we're in right now, we're in the time of truth and healing. There's videos on the YouTube from Floyd Westerman, who even talked about how we're so related to the tree and how we're um, how we there would be a time when the world would would see America dying from within. And we are in that time right now, because if you look at the statistics, even at, at, at the rates of suicide in 2018, there was 47,000 Americans that committed suicide. Only half that number of people died by homicide. So twice as many people are, are dying by their own hand. So, I mean, how much more can we say that, you know, this is us dying from within? And so that's why this time of truth and healing is so perfect timing right now, because we are also in an age of collaboration where we need to start you know, more and more, you can see it all over America, all different kinds of tribes, tribal organizations, working with these other groups, even with like you were talking about the fire. I did my master's thesis on tribal forest management, and it talked about how California had that 100 year ban on fire because they didn't understand it. They didn't understand, you know, the controlled burns. And now in Washington state, they have what's called anchor forests, where they're actually um, recognizing landholders are actually recognizing that the forest doesn't understand boundaries. You know, it's, it's wild, you know, it's, it's natural. And so um, there's people working together to try to minimize all these big fires by going back to traditional ways. And they're actually working with tribes that border forest lands. So, I mean, there's no way we would have thought that was going to happen 60 years ago, you know? So we have, we have to look at all the positives and yes, it's completely mm -hmm. slow. Believe me. I mean, I was in I was in the longest walk in 78 from Sacramento when I was going to college there. And so many of the things that we protested for, it's like they're, they're st we're still protesting. But yet yeah. you have to take each little step that we've made in, in a progression and, and try to look at all the positive. Because if we just keep looking at the negative, you know, we'll get overwhelmed.